All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are ready for your detail edits on that rough draft, and you're coming in for a landing at the end of second grade here. Let's finish strong, all right? There are some things I've noticed in your rough drafts that you will need to check carefully for today. Most of you have at least one sentence that is a run-on, meaning you have a subject and a verb and a subject and a verb, and they just run into each other like a big crash on the road. Got to watch for that. So when you're checking for your periods today, you want to make sure that you have a clean sentence, a subject and a verb, and then you stop your sentence and you start a new one. Don't shove several of them together. That's going to be on you to check for today. I want you to make sure that you have with you, while you're editing, the, today's assignment sheet. Again, there's a checklist on it. Like if you were at school, you would have that on your desk and you'd be checking things off. You're going to need that. I'm going to walk through a little bit of that with you right now so that you're ready to go. The first thing that it says on here when you have your rough draft in front of you is to check for capitalization. Many of you have capitalization errors in your rough draft right now. Find them. You cannot just throw a capital letter in the middle of a sentence because you think it needs more emphasis. That's wrong. Make sure you only have capitals at the beginning of your sentence to start your sentence, but then also check that if you use a proper name like Reformation Day or Mrs. Lecce or the names of your friends or the names of a specific place or date, you need to have that capitalized. Okay. Also, you're going to be checking for number two on your list is end marks. Again, I talked about those at the beginning. You need to make sure you have the appropriate end mark and that you don't skip one. And that if you um, have a question about whether you think an end mark should go there, you can either shoot me a question or you can check with mom or dad. They can help you with that. Number three, I am going to want you to take an older person in your house, preferably your mom or dad, and have them help you. First, you go through and find all of your spelling corrections. Anything you think is misspelled, I want you to put a little SP with your red pencil. And then find out how to spell it. Ask your mom or dad how to spell it correctly. You find all of them that you can and correct them. And then go through it with your mom and dad, and ha or mom or dad, or an older sibling that spells really well. And have them point out the words that you need to spell correctly. And then with your red pencil... I want you to write the correct spelling and mark out the word that's not spelled correctly. Okay? You may receive help for the spelling. I want you to. I want when you get to your final draft for it to all be spelled perfectly well. Okay? That's your job. Number four says choose a title of several words. It cannot be a sentence, but it has to connect with your memories. So it could be my memories of second grade or it could be memorable activities or it could be sensational second grade anything that you want you come up with an interesting title put it on that top line that you have on your rough draft where there's nothing written there above your name and I want you to make sure that you capitalize it says on your assignment sheet capitalize all the main words of your title okay if you want to check that with your mom or dad you can do that but I want you to have those capitalized in red your Title will be in red. Remember, we're not writing with a regular pencil anymore. We're only writing in red right now. When we edit, it's all in red. Number five says reread your writing all the way through and be sure that it makes sense. And I want you to read it out loud, the words that are on the page, because your brain will start to fill in things if you read it silently. So read it out loud. Find anything that doesn't make sense or that needs more explanation and make those changes now. This is the day to do that. Then you'll take a picture of the completely edited version today, and I will take a look at it. All right, writers, on your mark, get set.